topic that we've been touching on a lot on the show lately is about you know center backs and do you now have a stylish center back or do you need a, st- a center back who can mark and just in terms of like Kilkenny, it's a question at the moment. Tipperary, it's a question. And I just wonder, like, who would you see as maybe the top three centre backs in Hurling at the moment in the county? Yeah, the role has definitely changed, I think. And this big physical man dominating in the air and driving out is like that day is nearly okay. You still need a, a requirement for that as well, but it's more of a link play, a link, a link, a man links to play. But listen, the man that comes to mind straight away is. Kieran Joyce to me is probably the best six. He's young. He's 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 he'd go forward. He's good in the ball. He's you know like De- like Declan Declan Hannon obviously uh, Ty De Burka. They're probably the, Ty De Burka's injuries. Is he? But it's a big. It's them three, I suppose. And like even Declan Hannon, like Limerick are obviously preparing for for for, for their, their experiment experiment with Kyle O'Neill for a new six. So, um, but yeah, Kieran Joyce is one, I suppose. Declan Hannon and 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 the Burka, but then. Like is Damien if if you're not if you're not saying the Burke is out injured the whole time like is, is you look at Damien Reck maybe as as the next best six. Um, John, John Conlon, I don't think John Conlon had a great season last year. I think that he's an issue there for Clare. I think that he's 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 a smashing player, great hurler and all the rest. But would I put him as the top three best six in the country? No, I think Clare are looking to replace him, and I think David McInerney. I think there's an injury problem there with David McInerney at the moment now. So, like, they're looking to replace him as well. And, um, yeah, was a fine player in August. But, like, is he in the top three best six in the country this year? I would say no. Um, okay. But, like, you have Clare looking to replace the six. You have Limerick looking to replace the six. You have Tipperary, who still can't find the six. Uh, Galway had Keen Fahey at six there last weekend. Dar Um Like, Dublin have Chris Crummy at six against... Um, Limerick, um, there's like Richie Reid a six for for Kilkenny. Like, are any of these guys top top of the range number sixes? I don't think they are. You know, and uh, it's an issue for everybody because, and I suppose every every now every team is looking at Limerick and every team is trying to replicate what Limerick is doing. And you know what? It's probably to the detriment of a lot of teams because, like, you're I in my opinion you're just better off you like. Management and good sign management coaches, you work with the tools you have, right? And unfortunately, not every team has twenty players like Limerick, and you just have to pick your pick who's in, who 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 suits your shape and your team the best. Do you know what I mean? So it's it's a difficult one. But Kieran Joyce to me is a standout number one. So is part of it now that teams feel like they have to press up on Limerick, go you know match them for numbers out the field. So now whoever is playing six is no longer a protected species. Now maybe. To some degree, Limerick do protect theirs better because they're so repped with their shape. But is everyone else now throwing their six to the wolves and, and, and who can actually survive? Yeah, well, you see, the difference is, right, you you have to press up in Limerick. There's no question at all about that, right? I don't think there's any argument there, right? We all know that. Right? If you sit off them, they're, they're incredible on the ball. But mm-hmm. the difference is what everybody else is. When you shove up then and when you have to have a very mobile middle third, right, that half back to midfield, half forward line, and even one of the inside forwards, when that ball goes long, they have to track back the field so hard and so quick and so ferocious. And that when 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 if you can turn over that ball in, then you're not just lumping the ball up the field, you're working the ball in. So the fitness levels and the energy levels and the the I suppose how smart your players are on the ball, the, the, you know, like if if they're not really clever on the ball, like and go lateral or go backwards and know when to do that, you're basically just going to pump the ball back down to a free player, and and it, it becomes you're just you're, you're just broken down. But uh, I like listen, it's 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 a uh, it takes a while to get that right. You have to trust the players. You have to have a system. You have to run it and run it and run it and run it and swapping and changing. And just because you get you get a couple of clippings or it doesn't work out in a couple of games, if you're you, come back to my original point, you have to pick the player for you that you're going to fit your system, and you have to stick with him. And 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 uh, like that, 10, 11, 12 have huge. It's the there there. Do you know? Yeah, and like then, if you're to bring it on to Tipperary, Brian McGrath was played there against Limerick, and probably didn't go brilliantly for him. We've seen Robert Byrne played there a nice bit. Other options, maybe the likes of Barry Heffernan, he seems to be a little bit out of favour at the moment. Maybe you could say Brian O'Mara play there. Where who would you play six for Tipperary? Uh, okay, so I, I'd have three in my in my mind 
if I play six, I'd have Carl Barrett, I'd mm. have Brian O'Mara, or I'd have Noah McGrath during my three. But then, like, if we're talking about how a six has to be able to survive defending, it would be a big jump to just throw Noah throw no McGrath into the backs 1v1 against, you know, a pacey centre forward. It would, but you see, this is where I'm talking about your cover and your and your midfield and half forward line. That's that's where your that's where the unit works. It's as simple as that. Like so, no matter if you have Barrett or if you have if you have whoever you have in 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 uh, Brian O'Mara, if you're going to isolate a six at six, right, and you don't have your team working as a unit, you're going to be caught out anyway. But mm. the beauty about having okay, they're three very different players, right? And I suppose Brian O'Mara of all of them isn't proven yet, right? As a as a six or even as inter county standard. Um, over a number of seasons, but he has potentially played for given all the rest. We all know that, right? He's a smashing player, good physique, good in the ball, athletic guy. Carl Barrett at six would bring you energy. You can cover the ground. He's aggressive. He's good use of the ball. Um, this thing about size, he's too small. That day is gone. I don't believe in that anymore. He's still aggressive, aggressive enough to play there. Um, Noah McGrath then will just bring you that. He'd bring that quarterback six that basically he'd read the game. He'd cover left and right. Um, has he legs like he has to use it? No, he doesn't. But again, if you have your, your team working as a unit and he, he could fit into that slot, no bother. Declan Hannon isn't exactly the most paced guys in the world. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, so 